In this video, you will find out what it's like for me working as a data analyst at one of these big four. I will also share with you my number one reason why I believe this is one of the best paths to take after college if you're interested in data science and you're also maybe thinking about entering into the areas of blockchain or decentralized finance in the future. I'll cover the following questions in this video. You can find the timestamps down below so you can jump to those parts that interest you the most. What is it like working as a data analyst at the big four? What knowledge do you need? What are the downsides of working at a big four and what are the advantages? Now to preface this, it's very important that you understand that working as a data analyst, each data analytics job is different and unique on its own. The types of tasks that I do, they might be similar, but they might be completely different to positions that you are applying to. In my position at the moment, we help clients extract financial data from their ERP systems, such as SAP, Abacus, Sage, Microsoft Dynamics, and many more different ERP systems. This data is then transformed, cleaned, and checked for completeness. The data is then imported into proprietary company tools, which are similar to Spotfire or Power BI. The output of our work enables financial auditors to not have to go through massive amounts of data in order to create their audit reports for their clients. As with many data analytics jobs, a big part of our work goes into data cleaning, data transformation, turning non-structured data into structured data. We use a large range of tools, including the very well-known Excel, SQL, Python, Unix commands, and many different proprietary tools in order to automate large parts of our work and facilitate the transformation of data. What knowledge do you need to be able to start working at one of the big four? If you're just coming out of college and want to land a data analytics job at one of the big four, then some basic Excel skills, some basic programming such as SQL, Python, uh, maybe even Unix commands, and also some audit knowledge, understanding what trial balances are, journal entries, and also maybe even some ERP system knowledge would definitely help you land that first entry position. I don't think there's a specific degree you have to have studied to be able to enter into the field of data analytics. Data analytics is very broad, so people with different types of backgrounds often land these type of jobs. In our team, we've got many different people with, for example, physics, economical degrees, economical informatic degrees. But it doesn't really matter what kind of degree you have, as long as you bring these basic skills I mentioned before to the table, then the chance of you landing this job is a lot higher. What are the downsides working at a big four? The number one thing is the workload. I mean, I've worked different jobs before and workload is just not comparable. Maybe I was just lucky before, but the workload at one of the big four is definitely a step up or a few steps up. Typically the busy season lasts between September and March. During that time, you probably won't have a social life at all. And this might be a really big downside if you really enjoy hanging out with friends, uh, going different places in the evening. And if you've got a family, a wife and kids, having to work so much during the winter time can also have a big effect on your mental health. And there are many people that burn out during the busy season while working at one of the big four. You need to be able to be resilient towards stress, being able to still reach the deadlines that are imposed on you while being tired and having a lot of pressure from your managers. Another downside is the salary. Very often the salary is a little bit below market rate when compared with other companies in the same industry. I think that's something that's important to keep in mind. Now to the good stuff, what are the benefits to working at a big four? Even though there are some significant downsides, I enjoy the challenging work, the fast pace of the organization, the ability to work from more or less anywhere, the flexibility in the hours where I work, and also the possibility to take my overtime in the summer and go on week or month long vacation. Furthermore, I get the chance of working with a fantastic team. They're very friendly and they help. we help each other out during stressful times. And I think that's very valuable. So this is a bit subjective as 
I can't really compare with any other company if I haven't worked there. So I think this is more or less a, a thing of luck. Sometimes you get lucky and you land into a team that is very friendly and helpful and sometimes you're a bit unlucky. Another benefit is the added value that such work experience gives you as a person and on your CV. I notice a large spike of recruiters contacting me uh, after I started working at one of the big four and that is probably due to them noticing my work experience. With such a company on your CV, it will help you negotiate better salaries, better positions in future jobs. I also think it's very interesting as soon as you're in the company, it's very easy to branch out into a different direction without having to apply to another company. If you're not happy in your position after one or two years, you can always branch out since the big four are massive companies. In my opinion, if you're interested in data analytics, then I believe doing an internship or finding an entry level position at one of the big four is a fantastic way to start your career. A massive advantage of working at one of the big four is a few years down the line, if you're not interested in the department where you're working in, you can always change department, find a different data analytics job or even maybe IT audit job if you're interested in that. The companies are so big, there are many different possibilities and also data analytics is a very large field so you'll find a different data analytics jobs that will meet the skills that you have if you found this video valuable then i'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell to stay up to date as i will be making more videos in the areas of decentralized finance blockchain and maybe even some data analytics have a fantastic day and i'll catch you on the next one Bye bye